And what's going on, fam? This is your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. And today we're going to be talking about a little slicing and chopping. Everybody's favorite uh, thing to do once they get a machine. As you know, machine is a beast when it comes to slicing and chopping. I've done a couple of uh, slicing and chopping videos. But uh, we're not going to run too long on this. I just got a question for one of my VIP members. They're doing their slicing and the chopping. And they're basically like, how can they extend patterns inside of their uh, their sample chops? So there's really no one way for sure method. Um, what I like to do, what I'm going to show in this video, is I like to uh, turn my quantization off. As you can see down here, my quantization is turned off. Because then that way I can get a little more, uh, I guess you could say a lot more slots in the parts per quantization. I don't feel so limited in the quantization. Because a lot of times quantization, it's a good thing because, you know, it's going to... Uh, put your chops in time but at the same time sometimes it can confine you it feels like it, it hinders you a lot of times <clears throat> but um 960 is a good ppq value um don't forget on native instruments machine when it comes to your your swings you have two sets of swings you have a swing uh, icon here and then you have another one uh on each like like on each particular sound if you want to adjust the swing you can do that too I forget where it's at there just right there under the groove under your groove you could put swings on individual sounds this is one swing another one's up here um, maybe like around 17% is good that's somewhere like around where the NPC would be um, before we get into the sampling right here I have some drum sounds and that's what I use to just make a simple beat uh, you see this little simple beat pattern. I made a simple beat pattern just for the beat. So um, here goes some sample chops. You know, just basically sound like some noise, but you could take that noise and make patterns out of it. Like in your sample, you can get a whole different vibe out of the sample. So I'm going to do this completely live. I'm not going to like record, make any track or anything like that. But um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get into that a little slicing and chopping VIP sound lab style. And so if I sound a little off, forgive me because I'm doing this live and I got the screen recorder or uh, recording. So give me a sec. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this mic down and we'll start slicing up some of these sounds. See if we can get a different vibe out of the sample. So let's go ahead and do that. I heard something. 
something else. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna show you something. Here's how you can extend it again. Uh. See that? How I'm, I'm flipping that joint back. There's another little part right there. Reel it in. Bring it back. And you also can like take like the first two bars. Or the first bar. See that? Even the first bar just. Basically, VIP sound lab style. I gets down. Yo, that's 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 pretty much how I um I get down when I'm slicing up chops, and you know what I mean. Because you know, like, like for example, that one part that. That's like a little breakdown, you know, and I'm taking just that one note. It's just sound like noise. And I was like, I was like flipping it some type of way. I was like, but it's just dope like that, man. Like, so that's pretty much VIP sound lab. How I get down, how I do my joint. And that's all you got to do, man. Like when you're up in that sample, you know what I mean? You just get in there and find like little melodic um, ways to flip up your sample because I can't say it for everybody because everybody's, everybody's style is different, but I hope that helps you out a little bit as far as, you know, you know, when you're getting your slices and, and you're chopping down. Because the cool thing about machine, let me, well, let me uh, increase this sample screen a little bit. Okay, my little Norton thing came up saying, "Hey, machine is eating up your computer." All right, so um, yeah, down here in the sample, uh, the cool thing about machine. Let me zoom in on that a little bit more, and bring this over just a little bit. I'm using my trackpad right now, so see how when you're when you're on your slices, you could like zoom in and zoom out, so you can really get in there. And when you start messing with your slice points, see like how I can get in there. I can zoom in on that joint, get, get way down there, son. Like I would suggest like in this part right here, when, when you're trimming your samples, when you're zooming in there, I mean, get it tight. I mean, you can get it like right on point, like right there. You know what I'm saying? But for this video, I had it back a little bit because right now with machine, as far as non-destructive um, slicing and chopping, Right now, we currently can't overlap um, samples how like the MPC 4000 does. So we got to put in just a little bit more wrench time. And when it comes to our time stretch, and we have the offline time stretch. So, you know, I, I don't like how Native Instruments did that because we got to sit there and we have to pretty much guess. Well, I ain't going to say guess, but we got to like, it's going to be trial and error. Like under the time stretch settings, like as far as our tuning, you know, when we're tuning something up or down, whatever the case may be, or if we're using our free mode, speeding it up or slowing it down, um, the bad thing about it, you know, you got to you gotta do it first to hear it. I mean, they got the time stretch down good, you know, as far as, you know, detecting the source beat per minute. And if you want to conform the sample to the, um, the new beats per minute, which in this case, it would, uh, it would speed it up uh, drastically. A lot of times for me, I can just come in here and I could just check the source BPM and I'll just jump in that joint and I'll, t I'll, I'll leave my slices just like that. So that's a jewel I'm going to give you the way I do mine. And then I'll get in there and then I'll, I'll adjust my slices and my chopping to make them joints, um, 
overlap how the NPC 4000 would. Hard to it's hard to explain, man. It's hard for me to explain, but I could just do it. Like if you were sitting here with me, it would be a lot easier for me to show you. But um, that's pretty much how I do mine. So, you know, don't get me wrong. A slicing and chopping on machine is 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 is, is a beast. You know, it's 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 one it's one of the best dolls out here, in, in my opinion, as far as slicing and chopping goes. Matter of fact, hands down, it is the best doll out here that that uh that you could do slicing and chopping on easily, quickly. You know, holding down pads, adjusting your polyphony. Um, that's something else I had found the other day. I was sitting here, I was on a pad, and um, I held on a pad and I adjusted the polyphony, and I seen that it did it for the whole entire uh, set, sixteen pads. I was like, yo, because I was before I had to do like each one individually, and I seen it do that. And I was like, man, that's dope. I, that's something I didn't even know. So that's dope. Um, next to the Renaissance, now we all, you all, you know, the Renaissance, it, it's 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 a beast too. You know, it's hard for me. Well, I ain't gonna say for me, but for a lot of, but for a lot of people coming from machine, you know, a lot of people ain't having that NPC Renaissance step. I don't see, but I, you know, I ain't mad, man. The Renaissance is dope. Machine is dope. They're both dope, man. To me, it's not, it's not the gear, it's the engineer, man. So, it's all about having fun, man. For me, it's not all about competition. I like, I, I like to have fun, and that's that's what most producers out here need to remember, man. Just have fun with your music. But yo, VIP members, um, right in this kit, I was using some sounds from the MK2 Studio Pro. This is a new drum kit that we do have available on the VIP Sound Lab. Be sure to come by if you're not a member of the VIP Sound Lab. We have a one-time membership. It's only $9.99, no monthly fees. Again, I repeat, no monthly fees. You can get in, get inside VIP database, database two. Lots of free sounds, motif sounds, control editor templates. VIP members, I just sent out the new free Pro Tools Um controller editor template you can uh look inside your email inboxes if you haven't done that you can pick that up also sent out a couple of mailchimp flyers uh, for that uh we got some download links we're going to make some improvements on the site we're going to be having faster and quicker downloads um i have a new uh drum kit that's coming out oh man trust me i have a new drum kit coming out it's going to be the uh, vip sound lab urban assault 2 and that kit is going to be bananas <laughs> It's going to be bananas. Matter of fact, right here, some of these drum sounds that you just heard, I'm I'm working on it. Uh, so I label them as Sound Lab. You can see right there, man. So, yo, trust me, that kit is going to be bananas. But yo, that's pretty much it. I hope that helps you out, man. And I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs>